Guys, it's Jacob here from dropshipdownunder.com.au. So we're here today just to go through how to upload a CSV file into your Shopify platform. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we'll just start the dropship zone site. Uh, we've gone for aroma diffusers and humidifiers just to keep on with that theme. Um, as you can see there, they've all got on my SKU list underneath them already. That will actually pop up with an add to my SKU list, which I've already done and pressed. But what you'll do is just select each of these if you'd like to add them to your store, or you can even select all or select none. Um, so we select the ones, each one you want to your store. That way it's going to download to your back end um, of Dropship Zone first. And once you've selected them, press done. Okay, so this will take about 20 minutes to download. After it does download, you'll see it in your back office right here. So you go to my account at the top right, go to the left hand side to download center, press that one and then go into my SKU, which will then have all the products that you've added to your SKU list. Uh, as you can see there, I think there's about 38 products. Yes. And then we'll select all of those because we want to download all of them and we'll download so once you press download, this may take a while, may take a few minutes. It really depends on the, the file size of the S CSV file um, as it downloads all the photos, all the product descriptions, everything you basically need uh, to upload the products in a fast fashion. So once that's done, we'll just go into the show in Finder and it'll come up with a zip file. So what we'll do is just open this zip file, decompress it, that way it can show us the actual folder we're looking for. There we go. And all those folders down there are all each individual product with their photos in them, but we're worried about this Shopify Excel sheet. So we'll just open up the Shopify Excel, Excel sheet. And as you can see there, there's a lot of different information and a lot of different columns. Um, we don't need all these columns. Some of it is just there for our reference by ourselves. Um, as you can see, it goes quite a while. So there are only a few important columns. So what we'll do is just highlight the ones at the front we don't need um, all the way across to the line there where it goes to the letter N, just over, sorry. And we just delete them. So pretty much what we do is just get rid of those files that aren't needed. And then what we'll do now is just Separate the screen, that way we can see what's on the dropship zone as well, just so we can correspond between our Excel file and also the dropship zone's actual products. So just going quickly through these different columns, you can see the different titles, the descriptions that they use. Um, it goes across for tags, the type of product they also use, um, many different columns. Most aren't necessary. What we'll do is once we go through all these, you'll be able to see what ones you actually need to be able to edit for your store. Um, we can see there, so pretty much it's the weight there as well. Uh, next one will be price. So the price is the one that we will be looking at in just a moment for one of the ones we want to change. And we'll just go across there and just most of those things will keep true. And then all these different links here are all the different images for each product. So you can see here they have about six or seven different images, one per line. Um, and as you can see, there's also the alt text for that image um, and then the cost per item also, which is what we're paying for the cost to the vendor, sorry. So if we go across here, the pretty much the ones that we are interested in is the variant price here, which we want to change for our retail price and the SKU code. Okay, so we're going to use this SKU code to be able to look it up on Dropship Zone to see what we should be charging for our customers. So if I just copy and paste it in here, what we'll do is we'll just search this one. And there we go, it's just got one out of diffusers. So it's there for $30.80, okay, which is what we are also charging to our customers now. So we want to make a profit on this. So what we're going to do is just put that price up to what the retail price is instead. That way we can then make a profit for this product. So what you'll do is then go down to the next product and that variant SKU. Do the same thing. You'll copy that. You'll then go back onto your dropship zone. You'll then paste that in just the search bar. That way it'll pop up straight away. And you'll see again just the price that you're paying versus the price of the retail that we want to charge. So you'll do that for all of your products. And then once you do that, you'll press save as. 
to save that file to somewhere that you can remember um, what I'll do is just put it on my desktop where I cannot forget it okay so once that's all done what we'll do now is we'll just have to jump back over to Shopify so I'll just expand this screen again back to our home page we'll go down to our products on the left hand side and just under the top there it says import so we want to import a file press import and what we'll do is we'll choose a file so we're choosing our CSV file that we've just downloaded and what we'll do is open that one upload the CSV file and that's just confirming so we've got the title the description how many products there are as well as weight and price so perfect we'll import this that can also take about 10-15 minutes depending after that's done all the products will be uploaded there for you so it does save a bit of time once we do have all the products on there what we'll do is I'll just show you we'll go into one of the products and all the information will be in there so there's our title description um, photos and the prices SKUs and everything's already in there for you I hope you got some value from that today if you would like to learn some more uh, about dropshipping here in Australia, we have put together some free training on how to build a successful dropshipping business right here in Australia. So check out the description below to get access to that free training. And as always, give the videos a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and any comments, we would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, cheers.